Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother Ibadia from Yahweh, where Yahweh Shai Ibad. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rabbi Chakadash. Double honors to my elder apostles at Great Millstone, who rule well. Single honors and salutations to all you sincere brothers who's constantly pushing this word and truth and sincerity in four corners of the earth. Peace and blessings be unto the one third and also to the confusion of the faces. Now, through the Shalakia, through the Spirit. I pretty much just want to go in on um, our salvation. That's really the the entire the entire um, apex of this ministry is really for salvation. I mean, yes, we rehearse the righteous acts. Uh, we go into prophecy, of course. That's the spirit of Yahweh Shai, you know, about the mark of the beast being the RFID chip. You know, um, civil unrest shall come into America, which are going to be race wars, um, exposing Esau Edom, being a so-called white man, the so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans are the Hebrew Israelites, um, the tribe of Judah, the so-called Negroes in America are the real Jews, the the Messiah is a dark-skinned man with woolly hair, and America is the mystery of Babylon. Yes, that is the spirit of prophecy. And those are things that we are to speak of. And on top of that, not only to speak on those things, but also to defend them. Because there be many who pervert the gospel. But nonetheless, though, through it all, we're seeking the, the end. We're seeking the, the credits to roll. And that's to be on a chariot. That's to get salvation. And that's the whole purpose of Yahweh Shai, you know, coming in the flesh for our salvation. And that's the whole reason for us to go out and seal the elect. Because once the elect are sealed, the 144,000, 12,000 men out of every tribe, then that's when these prophecies are really going to start to roll, which they are now. And then salvation shall be lingering and shall be on its way. And then the 144,000 and that one third shall be brought through that fire. And we're going to be on the chariot. But there's a purpose to us constantly enduring. And going through these temptations, it's because Yahweh Shai had to go through those temptations. They had to go through the enduring, and now He's glorified. So now we have to bear the crosses, and now we have to, you know, go to the people like Yahweh Shai did, like the, like the apostles did, and um, and it's detrimental to <laughs> the Christian sect today. Because they never heard a doctrine like this. Just like when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, the Sanhedrins and um, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, I should say, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, the wicked Sanhedrins, they couldn't understand, like, he's doing, he casting out devils by Beelzebub, or, or uh, um, should, we give, should we give tithes unto to Caesar, or, or, or how come your men don't keep the traditions by washing their hands before they eat, and things of that nature. They trying to do the same thing to the to us today, starting with the other apostles of Great Millstone on down, you know. But nonetheless, though, we need to rejoice in these things because we understand that what we're fighting for is a greater cause. So, without further ado, this is First Peter chapter one verse six, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, because when you are blind, when you are in darkness. You think that what you are doing is okay. It's approved of. But once you come into this light and you become reproved in a new person, you realize, man, what I was doing was off. It was wicked. And because we're still in this wicked flesh, those temptations will never leave us. Everyone always have a certain spirit, a little demon, that's always going to be lingering around them. And when you go into the word demon, this means a lesser God. You know, uh, it's a spirit on a lower level, you know. Verse 7, that the trial of your faith, so we're on trial right now, the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. So what we are going through right now is more finer than gold. That's why the Lord said man shall be more um, precious than the fine gold of Ophir. But guess what? We're also being refined as gold. We're those precious jewels going back to Malachi 3 and 16. We're the precious jewels the most are making up. All right. Though it be tried with fire, might be found all unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So we want to be, you know, in, in the honor and the glory of Yahweh Shai when he appear. And what? 
in his form, in his form of salvation. Because the Howard Shaw is only coming with condemnation and salvation. Those are the only two. Those are the only two dishes he's serving when he come back. Salvation and condemnation. You know, two cups he only serving. Whom having not, whom having not seen, ye love. Now that's faith. Because in this lifetime we haven't physically seen Yahweh Shah. Even though they say Yahweh Shah, when he come back, he shall he shall not meet thee as a man. We still believe that Yahweh Shah existed and that he was a real man. Continue with First Peter one and eight. Whom having not seen, ye you love. Uh, whom though now ye see him not yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith. That's that salvation, right? Even the salvation of your souls, call her lawyer, how about Shimi Shai? Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesy of the grace that should come unto you. All right? So, we talking about the prophecies of Yahweh Shai coming back to save us. The elect. Because at the end of the day, yes, we are supposed to defend the gospel. We're supposed to feed the sheep. But all this arguing back and forth, like the brothers in Boston did a beautiful slaughter of some, of some Christians, so to say. You're slaughtering all these Christians, the slaughtering the vocab alone, all these false Israelite groups. At the end, we're going to find out who's going to be victorious when we see who won those chariots. And that's going to be the end of our faith. And for those of you who say um, <clears throat> the elders and brothers in Great Millstone are this faith based Israelites and that they bummer and they bummites. The water, you know, because yeah, yeah, how is shy is coming back for those who are rich in faith. Remember that, all right. He ain't talking about how fat your pockets is because riches profit not in the day of wrath, okay. First Peter 1 11 it says, Searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Mashiach, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Mashiach and the glory that shall follow. So, yes, though we suffer on this side in this flesh as being the righteous service of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, there is glory that shall follow. So our work is not in vain. It tells you that in Hebrews, the sixth chapter, I think the 10th verse. So this work is not in vain. But our whole purpose here is to do what? Is to serve Yahweh by Shem Shai by being ministers unto the sheep, being ministers unto the body. Because a lot of people, they want to try and prove themselves to be right. But that's not our whole purpose. Our whole purpose is just it's just it's to speak based upon what yeah the spirit says is right. Love the spirit not dealing with you, you 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 won't know the truth. So cause someone who knows the truth. They won't be so adamant to keep coming at someone who don't know the truth. Like the scripture says, so what if some do not believe? All right, Romans 3 and 3. But those who keep coming back for more, those are the ones that want to try and convert you. Or those are the ones whose faith is wavering because it's so evident that, man, what if what they are saying is true? See, even if they don't believe, what if what they are saying is true? So they always trying to find some loophole, but Yahweh Shah said, "Hey man, you can't be you can't creep in on the well. Yahweh Shah holds the key to the door. All right, <laughs> he has the passcode to the door. And he gave us the passcode, and guess what that passcode is? Faith. <laughs> if he ain't got that, man, I don't know what to tell you. The faith is something that's given from Yahweh Yahweh Shai, not from men. Grace is from Yahweh Yahweh Shai, not from men." <clears throat> But um, one more, First Peter, one and twelve. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven. Exactly, which things the angels desire to look into. So the things that we possess, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Even the angels desire to see these things. So what much more someone who don't have faith here on earth? Mm. Man, faith is the most precious thing you can have on this side. Without faith, you can't even serve the Lord. You know that? The Lord said you can't even serve him without faith. So if he haven't given you faith, you're not even his servant. 
We believe the chariot is going to come and save us. We believe we're going to get those spiritual powers, man, that no matter what weapon is formed, that it will do nothing to us. We do believe we're going to rule the world in righteousness. We do believe we're going to get crowned by Yahweh Shah. We do believe we're going to rule over all you nations. We do believe that every woman that us men deal with, no man has ever touched. We do believe we're going to see and be with every child that we ever have from a woman. We do believe that we're going to rule the kingdom of Yahweh Yahweh Shah with Yahweh Yahweh Shah, King David, Malak Dawada, forever, ever, and ever, ever. We believe in those things. Why? Because we have faith. You ain't got faith, you can't see it. So I don't know what to tell you. But our whole ministry is to defend the gospel and seek salvation. All right? So I pray you edify with this video. I hope this uplift you. Um, prepare for the battlefield, which is spiritual warfare. And with that being said, Kwame Asha Allah, Mawafla Baba. Shalom.